Bassam Shakashiri was a child in Beirut in the 1950s, when a colorful piece of clothing sparked a curiosity that launched his career in chemistry. When I was growing up in my native Lebanon, my mother knitted a sweater for me, a yellow sweater. I liked that sweater a lot, but I wondered, why is it yellow? What does it mean to have a yellow colored sweater? I wondered if the color yellow clashed with the color of one of my favorite pairs of pants. I was asking all kinds of questions about color. I was fascinated by color. Why is the sky blue? Why is it that when we look at the surface, when I looked at the surface of the Mediterranean Sea, when the wind was blowing, I saw what we call white caps. And I wondered if the color of the white caps is, is related in any way to the color of the stuff that floats up in the sky. I was full of questions. I wondered why the cedars of Lebanon retained their color in the winter while other trees lost their leaves, yet stayed alive and came back in the spring. I wondered about color all the time. Young Bassam was spellbound by curiosity about color, light, and vision. His parents and teachers encouraged that curiosity. They guided him towards answers to many of his questions. Shakashiri's fascination with color never faded. It's the reason why he chose to study chemistry in college. I, w I learned that color changes happen because of chemical transformations. And I wanted to learn more about that. And so I became a chemistry major. I, when I went to college, I majored in chemistry because I wanted to learn more, not only about color changes, but about other chemical reactions. And, and so this is why I went into chemistry and I found that experience to be very satisfying and very rewarding. After Shakashiri's first year of college at the American University of Beirut, his father, an eminent public health researcher, took a sabbatical at Harvard University. So in 1957, the whole family, Bassam, his mother, father, and two younger sisters, left Lebanon. Shakashiri continued his studies in the United States at Boston University, where he encountered a chemistry professor who had a profound impact on him. That semester, Lou Baker taught an advanced inorganic chemistry course to a class of one, namely then-college senior Bassam Shakashiri. And I learned a lot from Lou Baker about color changes. I, I learned about the uh, ligand field theory. I, I learned about electronic transitions that are um, useful in explaining the colors um, uh, of different substances as they undergo transformations. Lou Baker had a tremendous impact on me he influenced my attitude uh, toward learning, and he was really giving me a tutorial in the best sense of the word. I have since uh, tried to emulate some of the uh, ideas and some of the approaches that I learned from uh, Lou Baker in my own practice as a, as a professor, as a teacher, not only in large classroom settings, but especially when dealing with students one-on-one. -on -one -on -one. At Boston University, Shakashiri discovered the American Chemical Society joining the ACS's student chapter and becoming its treasurer. After earning his PhD, Shakashiri joined the faculty at the University of Wisconsin in Madison. He's been a professor there for over 40 years. Lou Baker's love of teaching rubbed off on Shakashiri, who became a tireless advocate for science literacy. He's performed chemistry demos in malls, the Smithsonian, and other museums, in the halls of U.S. Congress, and many other places. Shakashiri served as the National Science Foundation's Chief Education Officer in the 1980s, and he founded the Wisconsin Initiative for Science Literacy in 2002. Awards for those outreach efforts are among Shakashiri's honors. Shakashiri regards 2011, the International Year of Chemistry, as a great opportunity to continue those efforts. It's very important that we communicate uh, the importance of chemistry and the values of chemistry to society Communicate this to everyone in society, to youngsters, to adults, to people in school, to people out of school, and to engage everyone in the processes of science. And during the International Year of Chemistry, uh, I have the privilege of sharing the joy of doing scientific experiments with people from all over the world. Um, people in Belgium, in the Netherlands, other parts of Europe, um, many, many uh, locations in the United States and, and outside the United States by doing scientific experiments to show how important it is for us as scientists to inform the general public about chemistry, 
uh, to engage the general public in uh, various components of chemistry, to educate youngsters and their parents about chemistry, 